Yo, what is good guys? Board Gamers Goon here today doing a little video here on what we learned coming out of Battleground 2017. Now, you might be asking first, why am I wearing a football jersey? Football season's coming up. You're going to see me wearing a whole lot more football jerseys. I have a lot of them from a bunch of different teams. I'm really big into football, so you're going to be seeing me wear these a whole lot more often. I still have a lot of wrestling shirts, but considering Monday Night Football is going to be around, I'll probably be wearing a jersey because I will be watching that after Raw every night. So it's going to be fun, but... On Tuesdays, you probably will see me wearing wrestling shirts. And, of course, on Sunday, pay-per-views, I'll be wearing wrestling shirts. But that's not the point right now. The point is, what did we learn coming out of Battleground? I have three big things that we learned coming out of Battleground. First thing, Rusev is not going to get pushed. Yeah, my boy Ruru, man, he's not going to get pushed. He's not going to get pushed at all, man. I mean, if if there was a if there was a better time to have Rusev win, it was last night. The match didn't show very much promise to Rusev. I mean, a lot of the spots were predictable there, kind of like how it was in Punjabi Prison match. But a lot of the spots in Rusev's match was predictable. So, I mean, Rusev didn't shock anybody. He didn't win. He didn't give Bulgaria the win. If there was a better time to try to put Rusev over, it would have been last night. And I really like Rusev, man. He's one of my favorites, man. And sadly, he's not going to be getting pushed anytime soon for the foreseeable future. Just based on that fact alone that he couldn't beat John Cena when he should beat John Cena. But not much we could change, man. Not much we could change. Next, we had the Punjabi prison match that we learned something in. We learned that Jinder Mahal cannot win on his own. We already knew that he's had some help in the past. He's had he's had the Singh brothers help. We all thought the Singh brothers were, were going to interrupt. He, they did. Orton was about to win. And Kali came down. I called it. I called that Kali would come down. But... Looking at that match, it it really was underwhelming. I mean, Great Kali returned. Not a good thing. That's not a good thing, man. I called it, though, so... Yeah. You gotta see Kali hold the title up. But the biggest thing coming out of that match is Jinder Mahal cannot win a match on his own. He has not won a match on his own besides the Battle Royal. Yeah, Jinder Mahal cannot win on his own. And is that simply because Jinder Mahal's not good? I don't know, man. I got a Jinder Mahal strip back there, man. Can't be dis disappointing me like that, Jinder. <laughs> and next, the last thing we got is WWE is not patient. First off, we're going to talk about the New Day. New Day. They got the titles back on them last night. They should have gotten back on SummerSlam. They should have had another bad finish where the Usos somehow retain. That's what I would have had done so that the New Day gets their big victory at SummerSlam. But instead, they give the New Day the titles at a B pay-per-view. So that's something that they're not patient with. Next thing they're not patient with is the women's match. It really went fast you had literally four in a row um eliminations a tap out a tap out a roll up and then a pin after a rolling them up into the turnbuckle and then pinning charlotte but they weren't patient with that match either and also you know that maybe over there with Mike Kanellis and Sami Zayn, they're not that patient either, man. They're not that patient either. With Sami Zayn ended up getting the victory, and I really didn't see that coming, man. I didn't see it coming at all. But you figured they would let Kanellis win and build that intrigue up that Sami Zayn needs a victory against Kanellis. They didn't do that. And also with the United States Championship, 
it shows us that they literally, all they did with that United States belt is give it to AJ Styles for the simple fact to boost house show ratings. Not patient at all. Kevin Owens retain, or regains the championship at Battleground. So they weren't patient on even putting Kevin Owens back in the U.S. title picture. They just, you know what? You just lost it. You're going to retain it. Anyways, that's been your guys, well, what we learned from Battleground coming out of the pay-per-view last night. It was a very underwhelming pay-per-view. I said I'd probably give it a 3 or 4 out of 10 stars. It was not great at all. A lot of people are claiming it to be one of the worst pay-per-views, and I gotta agree, man. Uh, the only pay-per-view this year to come cro close to it was Extreme Rules, and I think this was a whole lot more of a train wreck than Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules looked like a freaking thumbs up compared to this, man. I, I really didn't like this show. I didn't. I It just all seemed rushed, and that's all... I have to say. If you've been worried, gamers, gonna make sure you click that red sub button. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below on what you guys thought of the pay-per-view. Did you think it was rushed? Because I really did. Anyways, it's been the World Gamers Goon. I'm out. Peace.